In this video, we're going to uh, introduce logarithmic differentiation. So, um, we know how to take the derivative of things like x squared, x to the fourth, um, you know, x to the nineteenth, and so on and so forth. Um, and we also know how to take the derivative of things like two to the x, uh, e to the x, and you know, fourteen to the x, and stuff like that. Um, so here x is in the base, so we have a variable in the base and a constant in the exponent. Here we have a constant in the base and a variable in the exponent. Okay, what if we have a variable in both the base and the exponent? So what about something like x to the x? Well, that's when we have to use logarithmic differentiation. Okay, so if you have some function of x raised to a function of x, okay, could be the same, could be different, um, then you have to use logarithmic differentiation. Alright, so um, if you have x's appearing in both the base and the exponent, then you have to use this uh, technique, logarithmic differentiation. So, how does that work? Well, um, we'll see it with the x to the x example. And it's not really a new formula or anything, it's just kind of another application of uh, the chain rule. Okay, so let's start with y equals x to the x. So, um, y is already by itself, that's what we want to make sure of first. So, um, once we have that done, now we can just take a natural log of both sides. So natural log of y equals natural log of x to the x. Okay. So once y is by itself, that's always the next step, is just take a natural log of both sides. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to use that rule from pre-calculus that says if you have an exponent in a natural log like that, you can pull it out and write it as a factor. So remember that rule says uh, natural log of m to the r equals r times natural log of m. Okay, not just natural logs, right? It could be any base log, any valid base. Um, but we're just dealing with natural logs, that's all uh, we have to worry about. Um, but anyway, um, here, in this case, we have an x in the exponent, so we can pull it out and write it as a factor. And then we have natural log of y equals x times natural log of x. Okay? Now what we want to do is take a derivative of both sides. And that's why it's called logarithmic differentiation, because you start with something like this, you take a log of both sides, um, and then you simplify just a little bit using this rule, and then you take a derivative. So ddx of the left equals ddx of the right. Okay, and now, um, now we just do the derivative. So on the left, it's kind of like implicit differentiation, but not exactly because, um, you know, we know what y is in terms of x. We have it explicitly defined, but we're kind of going to use the techniques of implicit differentiation or um, a safer way or a better way to think about it might just be, you know, think about it as the chain rule. Because that's actually, that's what it is, it's just the chain rule. So, um, chain rule says derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay, so derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay, so, um, really dy dx, but it's the same thing as y prime, so I'm just going to write y prime for short. Um, now on the right side, we have a derivative of a product, and that's just a standard product rule. So our first is x, our second is natural log of x. Product rule says the derivative of that is going to be derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay. So the first is x, so its derivative is 1, multiply by the second, which is natural log of x, plus the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second. And the second is natural log of x, so its derivative is 1 over x. Okay, so now we just simplify. Um, left side stays as it is for now. <clears throat> All right, 1 times natural log of x is just natural log of x. And then here, x times 1 over x, that's going to simplify to just uh, 1. So we just have natural log of x plus 1 over here. All right, now we're almost done. Um, we want to find what y primed is, right? We just want to find the derivative. So now um, we say y primed equals natural log of x plus 1, and then all that's multiplied by y. So in other words, we just multiplied both sides by y. Um, that's all we did. But we're not really done yet, and why aren't we done yet? Because, um, you know, so we're just using techniques from implicit differentiation, but this isn't really implicit differentiation because we know what y is in terms of x. And we're going to use that fact now, okay? So we're at this step, and there's only one more thing to do. Um, we can say, we can go back to the beginning and say, oh, okay, y is x to the x. So let's take that and put that into here. So really y primed equals natural log of x 
plus 1, all that uh, quantity, times x to the x. Okay, because y is x to the x, right? Remember that, y is x to the x. So we just replace this y with x to the x. Because um, our answer, this is our final answer also, it should have only x's in it and functions of x, but no y. Okay, there should be no y anywhere, because we know what y is in terms of x. So that's important to keep in mind. So um, just a recap of what happened real quick, uh, and this is what you always want to do with logarithmic differentiation. Okay, start out like this. As, uh, if y is already by itself, um, then the next step, well, if y isn't by itself, then, you know, do some algebraic manipulations to get it by itself. And then once it is, take a natural log of both sides. So then you have natural log of y, uh, and then equals natural log of some other stuff with x. And then the next step is always to use the uh, pre-calculus power rule here that says you can take the exponent out and write it as a factor. So you always do that next. And then you take a derivative. Okay? And then um, when you're taking the derivative, on the left, you'll always have natural log of y. Okay, so um, your derivative is always going to be 1 over y times y primed. And then on the right, you should have a product rule kind of thing going on. So then just do that, simplify a little bit, um, multiply both sides by y at some point, and then um, it's kind of easy to forget, but remember, um, at that step, you want to go back to the beginning and say, oh, okay, y is this function of x. So take this function of x and put it back in here, and you'll get that. So that's that. And um, again, just to reiterate, when do we use logarithmic differentiation? Uh, if you have a function of x raised to another function of x, okay, and it doesn't matter if it's the same, you know, here's x to the x, so it's this raised to the same function of x, um, but, you know, it could be like x raised to sine of x or sine of x raised to x, which uh, those are the next two examples. Um, but, you know, the point is if you have a function of x raised to a function of x, then you need to do logarithmic differentiation. So that's how to do it and when to use it. And again, here's our answer for this uh, quick one we looked at.